an agent being uncomfortable with dual representation. Some of you in Texas have this come up more than others because Texas realtors have a strongly held myth that they cannot do dual representation. It's actually not true. They can, but many, many, many of them are uncomfortable with it. Now, why do we do dual representation? Just to refresh you guys, why we do dual representation with listing agents is because it gives them an opportunity to make double the commission when they represent the seller and they represent you as the buyer. They get both 3% selling commission and 3% buying commission. So we've doubled their pay for the same deal. How many of you would like to get paid double for the same work? We all would. So agents are no different from that. But you do have some paranoid people out there who feel dual representation opens them up to liability. And I'm not going to say that there's not an element of truth in that. There is. Uh, it, it does expose a realtor a little bit more to litigation when they're dual representing because fiduciary duties become muddy. How can they be a fiduciary to their seller when they're also representing the buyer? And who do they have a fiduciary duty to? And, and who do they have more of a fiduciary duty to? You see how that can get complicated for a realtor? This video is brought to you by Batch Leads. Batch Leads is my favorite software to help you find the best comps for your deals. If you want to figure out how to use it, Click the link in the description and go to Batch Leads. Now stop watching me over here and watch me over there. Over here, over there, over there is better. So you're working with an agent who says they're not comfortable with dual representation. So again, your decision is to go back to a buyer's agent that you might have built rapport with and you try to insert them into the deal to write the contract. Well, many of you will know how that goes. It doesn't go well. You don't get the deal. So how can we incentivize an agent who is uncomfortable with dual representation? Well, one thing I've used and had much success with is asking if they can refer me to a buyer's agent. So I say, okay, you're not comfortable representing me. Do you have somebody in your office that you trust that could write this offer for me and represent me, a family member or a friend? And 9.9 .9 times out of 10, guys, the answer to that question is absolutely, because they do have a friend they'd love to give a referral to or they might have a family member they'd like to give a referral to. So you're still incentivizing them because we're still leveraging one of their close relationships. So even though this agent may be uncomfortable with doing dual re representation and making double commission, they sure would love to bless a friend with an opportunity who they know might return the favor in the future. So we've now given that realtor an opportunity to bless somebody. And that blessing can be powerful for that realtor. So rather than going back to our buyer's agent, we ask the list agent if they have a referral for us. And that still aligns us to the listing agent's interests. Because again, they would way rather their friend do a deal with them than some other realtor who they don't know, who they, won't, who they can't have candid conversations with. Thanks for watching another one of my YouTube videos. Now it's your turn to go out and take some action. But before you do, like and subscribe to my channel because the law of reciprocity means you owe me, b